This video is brought to you by Scopic.com. Get yours now. Hey guys, welcome back. This is FullFrontKage.com and following our hands on at the Galaxy Note 7, here we got the retail packaging of the Galaxy Note 7. This is a real thing and this is what you will be getting when you purchase one uh, from the store on its launch. So here we go with the Galaxy Note 7. As you all know, this comes only in 64 gb variant, although there's a rumor that the China is going to get a 6 gb RAM and 128GB storage model, although that's not exactly confirmed as time of right now. So you can see that on the right hand side of the packaging, you see the S pin over there and you see the color named blue coral or coral blue depending on your region. Uh, it's supposed to have four different colors, gold, silver, and black onyx along with the blue coral over here, although I'm not sure if there will be white uh, or not. On the back side, you see the basic specs, LTEA 3-band carrier aggregation, 64-bit octa-core processor, 4 gb of RAM, and 5.7 inches with Quad HD AMOLED panel, along with the dual pixel, 12 megapixel, 5 megapixel camera. And the part down there is actually the hit functions of the Galaxy Note 7. Iris scanner, IP68 water and dust resistance, wireless charging, NOx capable, 64 gb of storage. So let's dive right in. Here we go. You can slide it over to open up to the real packaging over there. And you can open it up to see the Blue Crawl Galaxy Note 7. So here's the phone itself. And under that, of course, obviously, when you get it from the store as a brand new one, you will be seeing a lot of protective films, but um, not over here. So below that is a bunch of reflash, user manual, SIM card removal tool, and the Samsung Pay, obviously. And here's a USB Type-C cable. They finally adopted for the USB Type-C, which has been a fad for the mobile manufacturers for quite a few years, and Samsung is now onto the bandwagon. So you see that this is a reversible Type-C cable onto the other half with the standard USB Type-A that you see every single day. So that's a quick cable, nothing impressive over there. This is a charger along with the adaptive fast charging. And um, unfortunately, this seems like a quick charge 2.0. It has an output of nine volts or five volts. So you can see right there is a charger and a little tool to remove your pen tip from your S Pen. This has been included in all the notes, so not surprised over here. And here they included a little adapter that converts from the micro USB to USB type C. So you can use your previous accessories or previous cables if you have a bunch of them, which we suppose that you do because micro USB has been extremely popular for over a few years. And this is a little connector um, that gets you to the OTG storages or when you're using the smart switch to move data from your previous phone to the new one, you can use this adapter and the USB cable to connect your old and new glorious Galaxy Note 7 to transfer all your data. Here's a little earphone, nothing surprising over there. It's actually the good old classic Samsung earphone. It doesn't really sound good, so we're gonna just dump it right there and move on to the phone itself. So here we go with the Blue Coral Galaxy Note 7. You can see that the reflective panel starting from the Galaxy S6 is here as well. While we are gonna boot it up, let's go through the basic specs. Let's get a Samsung uh, Exynos processor, 4 gb of RAM. Depending on the region, North America, you'll be getting Snapdragon 820 variant instead of Exynos uh, processor built in. 5.7 inches of a WQHD panel built in there. Fingerprint reader, multitasking key, back key, and the power key is there. And as it obviously tells, it's got an edge display. It's got a dual curved edge display, both front and also the back is slightly curved as well. So you can see that you'll be seeing a symmetric edges all over the phone. The rear camera has a 12 megapixel dual pixel camera, as you have seen from the Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge, and so does the same with the front facing camera. There's an LED flash along with the lot up sensor, Samsung logo, and if you are residing in three of the Asian countries, China, Japan, and South Korea, you will not be seeing a Samsung logo below that, but any other region than that, you will see the classic Samsung logo. On top, there's a nano SIM card tray along with the micro, uh, micro SD card support, which was missing from the Galaxy Note 5. Uh, if you ask me where the Galaxy Note 6 is, they entirely skipped the number 6 because they wanted to match up the number with the Galaxy S series because it was a generation behind the Galaxy S, but it actually isn't. So they matched up the number. USB Type-C port, earphone jack, speaker, and of course the S Pen is there, so you can just press it to pull it out. And here 
it clicks a little, so you can do that if you're bored. Let's go ahead with the setup procedures. All right, we're done with the basic set of procedures. It's got a Samsung Touch, which, which is all renovated. Uh, you might have learned that from the beta firmware for the Galaxy Note 5. You can see the white themes and along with the renovated icons. Uh, basic Android version is at 6.0.1 Android Marshmallow there. And while the hardware might not impress you, the software side uh, definitely is. But my favorite part over here is, of course, the resolution battery saver. So you can change your screen resolution from Quad HD to HD and Full HD to save up some of the battery. Uh, it's going to blur the screen a little, but instead, you get to boost it up battery life. And since it's got an edge display, of course, there is a new function uh, to use that edge display, including those apps edge panel and people edge, task edge that you have seen from the Galaxy S7 Edge. And you can modify that further from the setting inside the display over there. The classic S Pen features are all there, but they added up a few, including the translate function. So you can hover your S Pen tips over and you can translate um, the ones that you're pointing at, the words. The good old function where you can tap twice the home key to launch the camera is also there. And the game launcher and the game tools are also there so you can record and share your gameplay experiences or you can optimize your gameplay. There is way too much to cover for an unboxing right now. What I can from now is that the blue Corral looks amazing. The front and back has a blue Corral, this bluish tint, and the side is covered with gold color, which is a classical combination from the fashion industry. So that was a quick look and unboxing of the Galaxy Note 7. It's got an amazing grip. Considering how the first generation Galaxy S6 Edge wasn't exactly the best in part of the grip, this is an amazing advancement from the phone's two generations behind. And also on top of that, you get to have the always on display with the third party app support. So you can not only get your phone calls and messages shown up on the always on display, but you get to have your third party apps notification displayed as well. We hope Samsung does bring this to the older Galaxy devices, but we'll see if that happens. Anyway, that was a quick look and we'll see you guys on on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, and we'll try to bring you the review on this little amazing guy. Not exactly little, but compared to the older generations, it got narrower, so it gets you better grip and better, say, carability, I guess. We'll see you guys soon in the review. Until then, ciao.